Uh, yeah. My name is Jax Aldridge, uh, uh, doorman at the King Edward Hotel. Um, my requirements are basically to uh, greet the guests, uh, arrange parking, load and unload luggage, give directions, recommendations of sorts, mm -hmm. um, anything else they can do for them. Though. It's so hot that this hat is soaking wet around the rim. Uh, you get hot, did you say? About 140 degrees. Top of the hat, inside your head, right. inside the hat. Right. It's like a, it's a requirement, though, right? Uh, As are the white gloves when it's 130, and you wipe your hand on the cab, and it just comes right off, right? Do they, do they give you any other ones? In the oh yeah, winter yeah. or anything? Or? Oh yeah, yeah. You get black gloves in the winter. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. I would expect that um, you'd have a pretty broad knowledge of people with your job. But what's what's your opinion about them? <laughs> For the camera, they're pigs. Uh, no, the public are pigs. Um, not everybody, but they act in public how they've never acted at home. Well, what, what, why do you think that is that they act that way? In, in I public? just think it's disregard for the next human being. I mean, people, you know, get out of my way, I'm first. Uh, there's one last pair of socks on sale, I'm going to make sure I get it. Uh, there's one seat in the theater left, I want it. Uh, there's the best table in the restaurant. People, I want me, me first, everybody else second. Unfortunately, uh, that's how it is. Not everybody thinks that way, but. Hey, what do you expect it again? The old, the, the best way to appreciate good service is to tip. I mean, otherwise, What's what else point? are you doing? Thanking me? Right. <laughs> Thanking me doesn't help me. I mean, yeah. it won't pay my rent. It won't pay my uh, loan. Right. I kind of view all people with a, with a certain degree of uh, skepticism. Uh, I have to working right out here on the public street. I can't afford the luxury of trusting everybody. Why you meet a lot of uh, well? There's possible. a lot of people here that would do anything for a dollar, and uh, they know you have money on you. Yeah. Had a crowbar pulled on me. Had a coffee thrown at me. What do you say? Do in cases like that. What well, did you do? Uh, in the case of the crowbar, I phoned the Ontario Licensing Commission because it was a cab driver. A cab driver? Yeah. One of these guys. <laughs> okay, put your car ahead and turn it off. You just oh. Pull your car ahead and turn it off. It stinks. How do you deal with CA that's out here? <laughs> How do you deal with ignorant people? I don't. I walk away. Yeah. Ignorance. Ignorance you can't change. If it's in a person's nature to be ignorant, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can say that's the nature of the person. Right. It's the people that just uh, arrogantly go about it as if I'm their servant. The last thing I am is someone's servant. I'm an employee of a hotel, you're a guest, and that's the end of it. We're here to serve you, but we're not definitely here to uh, wait on your hand and foot, shall we say. Do you think you're respected by people in general? Uh, no. I think you're looked down upon most of the people that come through the doors. Um, you are wearing a uniform, which isn't yourself. They're making you up into something that they'd like to see. You in. And if I, uh, I guess if there's one complaint, one major complaint about the job would be, be real low self-esteem. Although you might be making equal or better money than them, you're looked down upon just from the simple fact that you're doing a menial job. As somebody once said, uh, you may see it as white, I may see it as black. doesn't mean it's any different, it just means we see it in a different light. What makes it worth it? Uh, it seems kind of uh, kind of rough, uh, you know, having to deal with these kind of people every, every day. What makes it worth it? I guess the 
fact that I'm a, I'm a sucker for punishment. <laughs> I, uh, no, in all honesty, it's, uh, as I say, it's rewarding. You meet a lot of nice people in between. Um, the nice people outweigh the, the bad people, as you say. There's a small group that uh, yes, yes, yes. they think the world ends at their feet. But um, the rewards, you know, uh, you meet people from all over the world. You get to talk to people one day from Australia, the next day from Germany. Um, no two days are the same. Yeah, attitude about life, I guess. Oh, okay. Right here, the traffic light. Life is a banquet, and I don't ever plan to be hungry. <laughs> okay, that's great. <laughs> My name is Jackson Aldridge, the uh, doorman at the King Edward Hotel. 